Have you ever stopped to wonder how history forms and who decides what makes it into the historical record? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? It nudges us to dissect the ways we perceive the past and the narratives we accept. Let's introduce a term here, historical formation. This concept, in essence, is about how history is made, shaped and recorded. It plays a pivotal role in shaping our understanding of the past. Indeed, the formation of history is no simple matter. It's an intricate process with many layers. Dive back in time, to the earliest periods of human civilization, when history was oral, not written. The dawn of human civilization was a time of stories, of myths and legends passed down from generation to generation. In these early societies, memory was the canvas on which history was painted. The past was not written in books or carved into stone, but spoken in the hushed whispers of the elderly, in the vibrant tales of the storytellers. It was a time when history was fluid, shaped and reshaped by the tongues of those who narrated it. Can you imagine the responsibility? The task of remembering the exploits of heroes, the wisdom of leaders, the lessons of past mistakes, and the lore of the land, all rested on the shoulders of these narrators. Their ability to remember and recite was the thread that held the tapestry of their society's history together. But this reliance on memory and oral tradition had its limitations. The human memory, after all, is fallible. Details could be forgotten, altered, or even intentionally changed, causing some aspects of history to fade into obscurity while others were amplified. Then came a revolution, a technological marvel that would forever change the way we record and remember our past. The advent of writing. Writing allowed societies to create a more permanent record of their history, one that wasn't subject to the whims of memory or the passage of time. It allowed for precision, for the preservation of detail and nuance that oral tradition could not offer. With writing, history could be recorded as it occurred, with events, dates and details documented for future generations. It became a tool for governance, for commerce, for culture, and of course, for history. No longer was the past a fluid narrative subject to change and interpretation, but a concrete record, an enduring testament to the trials and triumphs of our ancestors. The invention of writing was a game-changer. It allowed for a more concrete preservation of history. Moving forward to the Middle Ages, a time when history began to take a more recognizable form. During this era, history was not simply a collection of dates and facts, but rather a rich tapestry woven by those who held the power to record it. The monastic scribes and chroniclers played a pivotal role in this process, meticulously documenting events, ideas and knowledge. Cloistered within the stone walls of their monasteries, these scribes were the historians of their time, preserving the past for future generations. The work of these scribes was laborious and time-consuming, a testament to their dedication. They would carefully transcribe texts, often by candlelight, onto parchment or vellum. These handwritten manuscripts were the primary source of historical record during the Middle Ages, providing a window into a world long past. Their penmanship was not just a task, but an art form, with each letter and word crafted with precision and care. However, it's important to remember that these chroniclers didn't operate in a vacuum. They were heavily influenced by the church and the ruling monarchs, who had a significant say in what was deemed important enough to record. The church in particular held immense sway over historical documentation. Monastic scribes, often monks themselves, would prioritize religious events, miracles and the lives of saints. The kings and queens of the time also had their exploits and victories recorded, often in a manner that flattered their rule and reinforced their power. This focus on religion and power gives us a unique perspective on the Middle Ages. It reminds us that history is not just about what happened, but also about who had the power to decide what was worth remembering. As we read through these ancient texts, we're not just learning about the past, we're also seeing a reflection of the societal structures and values of the time. In the Middle Ages, what was recorded as history was often a reflection of power and religious influence. Fast forward to the modern era, where history formation has become more democratic but also more complex. In this age of digitization, the creation of history has been influenced significantly by mass media, academia, and public interest. Let's unpack this a bit. Mass media, with its wide reach and influence, plays a pivotal role in shaping our understanding of history. Television, radio, newspapers, and now the internet are all tools that disseminate historical knowledge to the masses. They have the power to highlight certain events, perspectives, or narratives over others, 
influencing our collective memory. This influence is not to be underestimated, as it forms the basis of our understanding of the past. Academia, on the other hand, plays a more systematic role in history formation. Scholars in universities and research institutions around the world delve into the depths of historical events, examining primary sources, analyzing data, and interpreting findings. Their work is often peer-reviewed, ensuring a certain level of rigor and accuracy. These scholarly contributions add depth to our understanding of history, providing context, nuance, and critical perspectives that mass media often misses. Then there's public interest. The things that people are interested in, the questions they ask, the topics they debate, all shape the way history is formed. Public interest can often stimulate new research, bring overlooked aspects of history to light, and challenge established narratives. But the modern era also brings challenges. We're living in an age of information overload, where a vast amount of data is available at our fingertips. This can make it harder to discern fact from fiction, to separate historical truth from misinformation. It's a challenge that calls for critical thinking and media literacy. Moreover, the democratization of history formation also means that there are many voices contributing to the narrative. This plurality is a strength, but it can also lead to conflicting interpretations and narratives. In our era, the formation of history is a dynamic and ongoing process, influenced by a multitude of voices. It's a fascinating complex and ever-evolving field, and we're all part of it. Now, let's ponder on the future of history formation. How will it be shaped in the digital age? As we navigate the vast ocean of the digital age, we can't help but wonder about the impact of technology on history formation. The advent of social media platforms, digital archiving and big data is reshaping how we perceive, record and interpret history. Imagine the potential of social media. It's a tool that gives voice to everyone. Every tweet, post or blog entry is a piece of history in the making, a personal testament to the times we live in. This democratic platform allows for a more inclusive and diverse historical narrative. As we're no longer solely dependent on the accounts of the powerful or the elite, then we have digital archiving. The days of dusty scrolls and fragile manuscripts are behind us. With digital archiving, historical records can be preserved indefinitely in virtual space, safe from the ravages of time and physical decay. This means future generations will have access to a more extensive and accurate historical record than ever before. Let's not forget the colossal elephant in the room, big data. In the vast sea of information that is the internet, big data tools can help historians sift through and analyze massive amounts of data quickly and accurately. This could revolutionize how we study trends and patterns in history, allowing for more nuanced and detailed interpretations. However, we must also acknowledge the challenges that come with these advancements. The sheer volume of data can be overwhelming, and the risk of misinformation or data manipulation is real. The digital divide might also create disparities in who gets to contribute to history and who doesn't. But despite these challenges, the opportunities are immense. The digital age promises a history formation that is more democratic, more inclusive, and more detailed. In the digital age, the formation of history may become even more complex, but also potentially more inclusive and diverse. As we sail into the future, let's embrace the changes and shape history together. So, we've taken a whirlwind tour through the ages, exploring the formation of history. We journeyed back to the earliest days of civilization, where we saw how our ancestors used oral traditions to pass down stories from generation to generation. This was the first step in the formation of history, the beginning of our collective memory as a species. Then we ventured into the Middle Ages, a time when the written word became more prevalent. Monks and scholars began recording historical events in texts and manuscripts, giving us a more concrete and enduring record of our past. This was a significant leap in the evolution of history formation, as it allowed for a more detailed and accurate preservation of events. As we moved into the modern era, we saw an even greater shift. The invention of the printing press and later, the digital technologies, transformed the way history was recorded and shared. Information became more accessible, and history became something that could be studied and analyzed by anyone, not just scholars. Looking ahead, we contemplated the future of history formation. With the advent of digital technologies, we're recording history in real time, 
creating a rich tapestry of human experience that future generations will be able to explore and interpret. Remember, history is not just about the past, it's about how we understand and interpret the past. And that's a process that's always evolving.